blessing. It gives an ultimatum of 18 months for Israel to either give Jerusalem or face an all-out war with Arab nations, which is 52 countries. Now, Israel Prime Minister has come back on May 21st, 2009 and said, Jerusalem will never be divided again. It will be the sole capital of the Jews. Following this, on May 23rd, 2009, Palestinian government says to Israel that it should give up its claims to the Temple Mount or the place where the King Solomon's temple was standing and hand over its control to the Muslim countries. Israel has come back and said it will not do this. Following which on May 25th, Iran has dispatched six warships to the international waters nearby Israel. And Israel also prepares for war. Today, if we see Jerusalem is a burning some soon, if this war starts, it might turn into a nuclear war, which will be an end of all. But as per prophecies, it will not turn into a nuclear war, for God Himself will come and save this place. But today, if you see, it is the cause of concern of all major governments. The reason behind this is. All the world's oil, most of the world's oil is flowing from this Middle East. And if there is a crisis in the Middle East, the flow of oil will be stopped and every nation will be left to starve. No nation can take that. The price of which is, would be too costly. And all of them are pressuring Israel to give half of Jerusalem to Palestine. And today Jerusalem has become a burning stone to all the governments of the world. In a short while, you can see certain signs which are coming up. And when you also see these signs, you can understand and you can know for yourself that the coming of the Lord is very near and start getting prepared to meet your Lord in heaven. The first sign is the economic crisis which is happening now will deepen. It is not going to stop. It is not going to come out. It is going to deepen. Every country which says today the economic recession has stopped and they have started showing growth, they are lying. Every in its backyard are printing notes. Americans are printing dollars. Canadians are printing dollars. Australians are printing dollars. Japanese are printing yons. Every nation, you name it, are printing currencies just to float it around and make his economy stable. That's not happening. The law of God does not work like that. It's not based on, built on forgeries and lies. This economic crisis will deepen in one way or other and it will give birth to the rise of the Antichrist. Second, you can see the emergence of the Eastern powers. The kings of the East are rising. Revelation chapter 16 verse 12 and 13 says this verse. And the sixth angel poured out his veil upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the East might be prepared. It says that in the end of the time Great nations shall rise on the east, which is China. Till now it was misstudied as king of the east, which was China. But today if you can see, this verse clearly mentioned kings of the east. It is not a singular, it's a plural. Which also means, apart from China, there will be another nation also coming up with this. At least one. There is all probability India is also the king of the east. Today if you can see, the world economy, you can see India and China growing rapidly when all the developed countries have stopped growing. They are attaining the status of superpowers. They have a younger population, they are, their gross outputs grow beyond anything and they are rising as superpowers. According to this verse, in the end of the times, we, the kings of the east, will go to Armageddon to fight against the Christ. And that prophecy is also being fulfilled. So when you, when you actually hear the news that India is growing or China is growing, don't be happy but prepare yourself for it is not a good news, it is for the bad news. Because we are all of these nations which are going to raise now are going to fall and get distracted in the battle of Armageddon. So as you are seeing, we are the kings of the east and we are rising now. Also, I wanted to show you another prophecy which is coming through nowadays. In fact, it has been so completed that the last sign of revelation or the last prophecy of the revelation has come down now. It's happened. 
when you read through this verse again now it says the river euphrates might be dried down that the kings of the east might be prepared the kings of the east will be actually marching down to the land of armageddon to the valley of armageddon on the last end time war the war of armageddon now you can see uh, the map which you are seeing on the screen now it is actually a military highway built by built by china and pakistan put together it is called the ninth wonder of the world a road from the chinese province of zanzin to rawalpindi in pakistan it is actually 1300 kilometers long it crosses across major glaciers and major peaks of himalayas now if you can actually see without a road like this it is impossible for a people for a country for an army uh, like a china to march to armageddon it is really impossible to cross the himalayas itself with, with all the artilleries with all the heavy equipments but this road was built to fulfill the prophecy it it is still a military highways civilians are not authorized to use it without permission and it is a military highway maintained till this days now if you can understand this once they cross the himalayas and land at pakistan the next nation they'll march through iran through iraq actually they'll cross the river euphrates and come into the valley of armageddon by crossing the country of jordan the prophecy the platform for this prophecy to fulfill is already been done let us understand the days which we are standing in the platform for the last prophecy of the revelation has been done we are just waiting for the events to happen you can expect is a shift of power from united states to european union and to kings of the east till today united states has been the superpower of the world they have been the policemen of the world when when they say a law most of the world goes by it but going forward in some days you will see or in some years you will see this power is shifted from united states to european union or and the kings of the east so you united states or america will no longer be a superpower going forward from now and that prophecy is happening very soon it will come practical and you will see actually a political atmosphere happening where europe takes the lead and united states become just a normal nation nothing more than that the sign which you you should expect is the ezekiel war ezekiel actually this war is a game changer in the entire prophetical phenomenon ezekiel dedicates two complete chapters towards this war ezekiel chapter 38 and chapter 39 speaks about a war where most middle east nations come across the land of israel to fight against it this has started happening now as per this prophecy Uh, you can see on the screen the list of nations which are going to come up against israel the islamic countries of sudan older ethiopia which is uh, older ethiopia which consists of the gulf basin or the saudi arabia kuwait oman libya algeria tunisia turkey armenia syria lebanon jordan leaving out iraq all these countries are going to come to war against israel and they will be backed by russia this is such a prophetic war which will change the face of the uh, end time the reason behind that being is when this war actually happens there will be no nation in the face of the world to come and save israel today when you see the alliances united